what's up guys my name is Liam and today we're gonna to be talking about the Meano DM20 this is the budget gaming microphone that's been working out well for me if you're someone that spends all your money on gaming mice and are looking for a more affordable option is this gonna be the perfect mic for you let's check it out All right guys, and here we got the Meano DM20 in the box here, and this is a condenser microphone coming in at $34.99. And overall, I was pretty impressed by the specs of this microphone, so let's go ahead and check it out. So here I have the black version of this mic, but this mic also comes in a white and a pink colorway as well. This microphone has a frequency response range between 50 hertz and 20 kilohertz. And as you can see here on the box, this microphone is targeted towards gamers. It's said to be an all-in-one starter kit, and they promote it working perfectly with Discord, streaming on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. And this microphone is not only compatible with just the PC, it's also compatible with PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So let's see what we got inside the box. All right, so when you open this microphone up, as you can see here, we have an accessories box. And then the mic looks like it comes all put together in one piece, ready to go. And then also included, we got the user manual. Inside the accessories box, we got the cable. And then it also comes with an adapter in case you want to throw this microphone on a boom arm. It looks like this cable is probably about a six foot cable in length. And as you can see here, thankfully, it does have USB type C to USB A. And it also looks like there's a little adapter here. So if you want to just use a straight USB-C to USB-C, you also have the option to do that as well. And just to let you guys know, when I first went to go plug this in the back of my PC, I was kind of worried with this piece right here, because I do have a lot of things plugged in back there. I have a bunch of gaming mice I'm always testing out and stuff like that. But I do want to report that this was no issues at all. It does bend, it moves out of the way pretty easily. So I was able to hook this in the back of my PC, even with all my ports full, no problems at all. So when it comes to the actual build of this microphone, this is pretty much an all plastic build of a microphone. Uh, these little screens right here are metallic. And I believe the pop filter on here is metallic as well. This microphone, it feels solid. It feels like a very high quality mic. It doesn't like feel cheap. It feels very sturdy. And in hands, it definitely feels like a more premium product. And as you can see, this microphone does come pre-installed on the stand. So you can set it down on your desk nicely. It's got this little knob in the back here. You just loosen this up and it allows you to, you know, rotate the microphone up and down. And then once you get to get it set to a set point, it kind of just clicks in spot so it doesn't have any problems moving around or anything like that. And on the bottom of the stand here, it has like these foam inserts. These aren't rubber. I was kind of concerned if they were gonna slide around too much on my desk, but the stand just seems really sturdy. Once I set it down, I didn't have any problems with it moving around. And I never came across any issues where I felt like I was gonna knock it over or anything. So the foam inserts on the bottom base of the mic can definitely help absorb any type of vibrating from picking up in the microphone. And to also aid in canceling out any vibrations, this microphone comes with a pre-installed four-point shock mount. And the bands in the the shock mount are made out of a really thick rubber so it holds the mic in here nice and tight and I didn't notice any issues with that at all whatsoever. So when it comes to the front of this mic it does come with this pre-installed pop filter on it and since this is a cardioid polar pattern microphone you're going to get the best results out of this microphone if you speak directly towards the front of it. So you definitely want to make sure you're not speaking at the top of the microphone and with this polar pattern the reason it's optimal for gaming is because it's supposed to pick up less audible noise in the back of the microphone. And with this pop filter they did give you the option if you'd rather use your own filter or you don't like this or you just just feel like it gets in the way. It does come off of the microphone pretty easy. And then if you want to go ahead and slide it back on there, you go ahead and just pop it on there. It sits on there nice and snug and it's really easy to move, but that's definitely an option to keep it or remove it, whether you choose to or not. When it comes to plugging this microphone in your PC, Mayano did put the USB-C port on the back of the microphone. And I really like this because I feel like a lot of mics that I've had in the past, they always have the plug in the bottom of the microphone. And I've always felt like if you're trying to boom the mic or anything like that, it just always seems to kind of get in the way. So as you can see here on the back of the stand, if you do decide to use this, they actually did leave a hole here. So you just go ahead and you bring the cable in between there and it plugs right there into the back of the mic. So it stays nice and clean and out of the way. And this is a great addition for cable management on your desktop. And as you can see, they gave you a lot of space here in the design of the back of the stand. So if you do have it plugged in, you want to move it around, you have no issues with any type of interference from the cable at all whatsoever. I do want to mention that I'm really happy they provide you with an adapter for the boom arm because this microphone sits in a really tiny package. So it works great when gaming with your friends online or just chatting with your friends through Discord. But if you're looking to do any voiceovers, record new videos, do any type of podcasting with this microphone. I would definitely say I recommend putting this microphone on a boom so you can bring it close to your face because by doing that it captures your voice just so much better and it helps with eliminating background noise in the room such as a fan, you know, your keyboard, your mouse. And to install the boom arm adapter, you know, really easy stuff. You just unscrew the screw here that holds the microphone to the stand. Just pop out the screw. 
And then you just pop the adapter on there like that. Put the screw back in it and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this microphone hooked up. We'll switch over to the audio coming from this mic so you guys can see what it sounds like. And then I'll finish going over the features of the microphone. All right, guys, and we have officially switched over. You are now getting the audio input from the Meano DM20 microphone, as you can see right here in front of me. Um, quick disclaimer, this is not going to be a fair comparison and a one-to-one. -one. My original mic setup is actually Rode NTG5. It's a $500 microphone. And I am recording it to a Zoom F6 that provides 32-bit float audio audio and that is a $750 recorder. However, I do feel like this microphone sounds phenomenal coming in at only $34.99 and it has worked great for me in all my gameplay. I haven't had any issues with it. But ultimately, I'll let you guys be the judge for yourself. And just to be clear, I'm not going to be doing any audio processing on top of my vocals here um, other than adjusting the levels to make sure that they're coming across clear for you guys. So getting back into the mic here with the audio levels, one of the cool things about this mic is it actually does have a volume input adjust knob at the very very bottom of the mic. So as you can see here, I currently have the volume of this mic turned all the way up. And if you're playing a game with your friends, they think you're too loud. You just simply twist the knob here at the very bottom of the mic and it turns down your vocals just like so. And then you go the other way to go back up. So you can kind of talk with your friends. You can just adjust it from the mic right here. doesn't require any software or anything like that. So pretty cool feature. You can do that on this mic at such a low cost. And the knob feels nice and great. It feels smooth and premium. So really happy with how it turned out. And one thing I'd like to bring about the audio knob to you guys, it's not really that big of a deal, but as you can see here, when you're kind of going to the left, and the dots are getting bigger, you'd think that's where it would actually turn the audio of the mic up, but it's kind of backwards, it turns it down, and if you turn towards the lower dots, that it actually gets louder with the volume. And then also coming to the bottom of the mic here, it does actually have a headphone input jack. This 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is a lag-free audio jack, which is great. You don't want to have any type of audio input of lagging footsteps when you're playing a game. Also cool, you can plug some headphones into it if you're going to be doing any vocal recordings and you want to listen back and monitor your vocals as you're doing so. And when it comes to the top of the microphone, there are two buttons at the top of the microphone. The button that's here to the left controls the RGB. The first, and probably my favorite RGB mode, is going to be this dynamic multicolor gradient. It just kind of fades in between different color gradients on the microphone. I think it's a really cool aesthetic. It looks great. And then if you give the button a tap here at the top, it's actually going to switch it to the dynamic breathing mode. This still offers gradients, but what it does is it fades in and out between the different color gradients. And then finally, for each tap after that, it's going to bring you over to the static colors. As you can see here, the first static color that comes up is red, orange, and then we got yellow, green, till, blue, and then pink. And then after pink, it takes you back to the multicolor gradient option again. And if you're not a fan of the RGB lights or you sleep in the same room as your computer, and when you turn your computer off, all the RGB lights stay on after it's done, you can just simply hold the button here at the top for a couple seconds and it will cycle the RGB off on the microphone. And then if you want to turn it on again, you just got to tap it once and it'll turn the RGB back on. And then moving over to the top right side of the microphone here, we do have a bigger multi-function button. So one feature I really like about this microphone is when this microphone is on and it's live, there's actually an LED indicator at the very front of the microphone and it will be green indicating that it's live. And if you want to mute your microphone, you just simply tap this button here. And once you do that, the indicator LED on the front will change from a green color to a red color and your voice will be muted. So I'll go ahead and do that for you really quick and demonstrate. And then the last function that this offers for you is a noise canceling mode. So in order to enable noise canceling mode, you just simply press down and hold the button for a couple of seconds. And then the green LED indicator light on the front will change from a green color to a blue color. And as long as you remain in noise canceling mode, the LED will always stay blue. So it's really easy to tell when using this microphone, whether or not you're in noise canceling mode. Obviously if it's green, it's not in noise canceling mode. And then the blue, you'll always be in noise canceling mode. And the mute function works perfectly fine with both modes. It'll just go from blue to red red back to blue to let you know that you are live and you are in the noise cancellation mode. All right, so let's go ahead and run some open mic tests with noise canceling on and off to see if you guys notice a difference. So we're gonna start out this test. I'm just gonna use my gaming mouse and I'm gonna go ahead and click the buttons here while I'm talking. First, we'll start out with the mic open. So if I was talking with friends and I was just sitting here playing on my mic, this is what it would sound like. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the noise canceling mode. And I have gotten the blue LED indicator informing me that I am in the noise canceling mode. So if I were talking and I was using my gaming mouse and then I were to start talking again, this is what it would sound like. All right, guys. And then the final test I'm going to do here is going to be the dynamic fan test. I feel like every time I game, 
there's always going to be somebody jumping into the lobby with a fan on in their mic or something like that. So let's go ahead and see how it does with this microphone. With the fan put a little bit far back away from me, this is probably be like a typical setup. So I'll go ahead and keep talking here and I went ahead and turned the fan on. So this is going to sound like with the fan on right over your shoulder without noise canceling. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn on noise canceling. All right, so noise canceling is officially on and this is what it sounds like with the fan blowing directly into the mic. For the price that this mic comes in at, you know, if you're just looking to play some games with your friends, you don't take anything too serious. I mean, if you do take things seriously, this thing is honestly, it's pretty impressive to me in my personal opinion. I mean, when you're comparing with some of the other top mics out there on the market, the fact this comes in at $34.99, you know, I can truly tell you with using this mic, I honestly can't really think of any complaints I have about it. All the functions on it work perfectly for me, the muting. I feel like the noise canceling is a really good feature coming at the cost of the mic. If I had to say there was any downside to this mic, the only real downside is how tiny that the mic is. You know, I do feel like to get the best results, you probably should pop it up or you should put on a boom arm. So that does kind of raise up the cost of it. But again, I don't really like having mics sitting on my desk anyways. I feel like all the offerings out there, they do offer stands. Even if they are slightly a little taller than this, you know, I just feel like it's always getting in the way of my mouse or my keyboard or something like that. Great stuff from them. Again, the build on this feels great. I've had no issues with it. It's a plug and play immediately off the bat. You can easily pick it up excessively off Amazon. With all that being said, I feel like this is definitely a solid contender I can recommend to you guys, especially coming in at the price point, especially coming to the fact that you do have it backed by Amazon. And if you are interested in picking up this microphone and supporting the channel, I went ahead and I left links to pick up this microphone in the description down below. All right, guys, if you have any questions or feel like there's anything that I left out, please let me know down in the comments below. And aside from that, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys soon.